Hello guys, welcome to Knowledge India once again. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you with a demo that how can we do VPC peering across two different AWS regions. Now, this is a feature which was uh, announced, announced recently. Uh, earlier, VPC peering was only possible uh, to be done uh, you know, within the same region. So the two VPCs which you wanted to peer it was must that they should have that they should be there in the same region same AWS region though they can belong to two different accounts but <coughs> restriction was there of the same region now AWS has uh, removed that and uh, we can go ahead and have peering between two VPCs which are there in two different regions altogether the benefits of peering uh, when we do VPC when we do VPC peering uh, what happens is it acts like as if the two the two VPCs are connected via private network, right? It works that way. So uh, what happens is uh, from one VPC, you would be able to access instances running in the other VPC using its private IP itself, right? You don't need to specify public IP at all. So what we are going to see in this demo is that we have one VPC in North Virginia we'll have another VPC in Oregon, and then we'll create a VPC pairing between these two. And post that, we'll have an instance launched in the uh, North Virginia, and another instance which would have only private IP, no public IP at all, in Oregon. And from North Virginia instance, we would be able to access the instance in Oregon using its private IP itself. Okay, so I'm gonna show this to you and I hope you'll follow it. So first to explain you the setup, as you can see, uh, I'm operating in North Virginia here. I've got uh, my VPC, which has a CIDR range of 10.0.0.0 slash 26. It is important to remember that the CIDR block should not be overlapping between the two VPCs which you want to peer, okay? Now, uh, let me just show you the subnets. <clears throat> as you can see, I have two public and two private subnets. All of you know this uh, VPC, right? Because we have done a lot of demos earlier using this. So I have two public and two private, okay? Uh, you can also look at this thing for the public. I have a route for IGW, okay? And the private ones are just plain, nothing. Okay, this is uh, for the VPC endpoint, but don't worry about it. So we are going to use the public one here. Okay, and let me show you in the Oregon region, I have a VPC. Uh, in this VPC, I again have got in a similar manner. Uh, let me just filter it. I have got two public and two private subnets. Okay, and uh, you can see here in the private one, nothing is there. So in the Oregon, I would be I would be having an instance which which would be there in the um, uh, in the private subnet, whereas in the North Virginia, I'm going to have my instance, EC2 instance in the public subnet. Now, in order to save time, what I've done is I've just launched instances. Uh, I am, I'm sure that you know all of this already, how to launch EC2 instance and all. So as you can see, in the Oregon region, I have launched this in which subnet? Uh, 5AD5, which is 5AD5, this one, which is a private subnet. And you can see that it has got only a private IP, no public IP at all. Okay, next, in the North Virginia region, I have launched an EC2 instance, which has a public IP, of course. Also, we can see that it is launched in this subnet 9F26, which is the, uh, this one, which is the public subnet here. All right, so I hope you are clear. In North Virginia, we have instance in the public subnet, in Oregon, we have instance in the private subnet. Now, currently, let me show you. Uh, let me bring it here. So, here is our instance. This is the instance, uh, you know, the, the one in the North Virginia, 34, 237, 245, 174, as you can see here, this one. Now, in this instance, uh, what I've done, I've just uh, installed Telnet client so that we can try and hit uh, our private instance, right, which is in the other region. So I'm going to uh, open the command prompt here and just one sec.
okay and i'm going to try and tell net to this particular ip which is on port 22 of course it won't go through uh, the, re the reason is simple uh, these are two different regions altogether and there's no way that uh, this public machine which is there in north virginia can reach out to a private instance in the oregon region okay so what we are going to do next is we'll minimize this and we'll go ahead and create a vpc peering so i am there in the oregon region i'll go to peering connections and i'll just go ahead and create a peering i need to name it something so i'll just say KI view requester is this particular VPC, right? And uh, it needs to, uh, well, what is what is the other VPC which we need to specify, right? So it can be in, within our account or in other account. You can just choose and specify the other account ID if it is so. Currently it is in my account, so I'll go ahead in this way, and but it is there in different region. It is there in North Virginia. And then I need to put that VPC ID. So I'll go here and go to this thing and pick the VPC ID. This is the VPC ID, right? 419, I'm just gonna paste it here and then say create pairing connection. So once I do this, uh, you can see uh, in this region it is done uh, and a request has been initiated. Um, if I go to my North Virginia region and I go to peering connections, I should be able to see a request which has pending acceptance. So I'll go ahead and accept this okay once i accept this you can see that it would run it would turn green so now the peering connection is active the you know the the thing uh, doesn't end here you need to do one more step as part of uh, vpc pairing you will have to go and add necessary routes in the in both the route tables on both the sides right in both the vpc so all right let us go to the route table i will my instance is there in the public subnet i'm going to pick up the public route table which is associated to both the public subnets in north virginia and i'll go ahead and i'll just add one more route now here in this route i need to say that if the traffic is destined to go to the other vpc the vpc which is there in the oregon what is the cidr for that vpc it is 10.0.1.0/26 okay you can see that as well here let me show you so you can see for this particular vpc it is 10.0.1.0/26 so that is what we have to specify here and if traffic is destined to go to this cidr then send it to the peering connection and just save this that's it same way in the other other vpc also we need to do so i'll go to the route table in this case i am using the private uh, subnet right my private instance is there in that private subnet so i'll just pick up this private route table in this i'll go ahead and add the you know in this case the the cidr would be that of the vpc which is there in north virginia and for that this is the cidr let me just show you so that you are clear on this see this is north virginia my vpc 10.0.0.0 slash 26 so this is what i'm specifying here all right guys and we'll just say pairing connection save this now we are good and we will go ahead and do the same test which i did some time back uh, before that i just want to inform you uh, in between uh, meaning i have already gone ahead and made sure that for this particular instance in the security group right in the security group if you see the traffic is allowed to come from the other vpc citr because even if you add things in route table if you have not uh, configured your security group correctly the traffic would not come in right so i have you can see that i've just opened port 80 and 22 on this linux machine which is which is a private instance and i have op said that traffic can come from the cidr of the vpc which is there in the north virginia okay all right so with this uh, we can go to our this thing again and we'll try to execute this and see as you can see it is able to reach the private instance so what, what in order to summarize what did we do we created a public instance of course this is a public instance it has got a public ip as you can see so we created a public instance in north virginia in in one vpc and we created a private instance in another vpc in oregon 
and then from the public instance we are able to reach the private instance via we are able to redo that because we created a VPC pairing or else it would not be possible at all what are the possible use cases of doing this thing so many of the times you, uh, you know if your organization is having services running in two different regions which are talking to each other instead of making them talk over public network now you can go ahead and set up VPC pairing and then in a private manner without getting exposed to the to the public this communication can happen okay so this is a really good feature which uh, came up uh, some time back i wanted to show this to you with a demo uh, i hope you have liked and understood uh, this particular video if you did so please uh, please hit like and share it with your friends uh, please subscribe to the video i wish to bring more very soon thank you thanks for watching see you again bye bye